Hello my lovelies, welcome back, and today I thought I would do a quick little tutorial on how to get your sims into compressed folders or zip files, however you want to address it as. I usually say zip files. Um, <clears throat> and there are two things that you need in order to get this done. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mucus, be gone. Um, <laughs> The first thing is you need the Sims 4 Tray Importer. You can get this from LooniverseSims.com. Sim, Looniverse um, I will have the link in the description down below. And also to be on the safe side, I would recommend you have some kind of um, application, especially for zip folders. I'm not sure if you necessarily need one. But I would go ahead and recommend it anyway. You can have WinRAR or you can have um, B1 for your archiver. That's what I use. Everyone claimed that WinRAR was free. I don't know. I don't know if I went to the wrong site. But when I did go to download it, it said free trial or buy now. And I was like, uh, I'm, I'm not about that life. Um, I just want something that's totally free. So B1 free archiver is totally and completely free if you wish to use it. Um, so to get your sim into a compressed folder or zip file is actually pretty easy. I just figured this out the other day and I was like, huh. Um, now I don't know if others have tutorials on this. There might be some that's already out, but I'm like, if there are, it's not going to hurt to have a refresher, right? <laughs> Something up to date. Um, so what do you do is when you open Tray Importer, obviously it comes to this home page, you have your households, everything is pretty much checked off, um, but I'm just going to keep it like this. So I'm going to click on Danny's file, that's the most recent one, and when you click on it you get um, three options to get generals, file, general files, and CC. The gen this is the general section where you have um, her pictures and um, she doesn't have a description. But anyway, <clears throat> we're not worrying about any of these today. What we are worrying about is the export or the export with CC. This is where those compressed, well, this is where you would create your zip file. You can export her by herself, just the sim herself, or you can export her with her CC. Now keep in mind that you cannot upload your sim with the CC to any website because that's against the creator's terms of use. So, but you do have those two options. Um, I want to, I'm going to export with CC and when you click it, a pop-up comes up to sit and it says export with custom content, obviously. Um, and you have an option to select custom content to include and you can open the mods folder and you can also select if you want to keep the current CC or not. <clears throat> Here at the bottom, you have an option to make the C CC a separate archive. Um, and at the bottom, it says, note, make sure that you are allowed to share contents from other creators. But that's not the purpose of this video. And we, we're not doing that. We're not trying to do that anyway. <clears throat> um, the add more files option is grayed out. But... I, I don't want to add any more files anyway. So I want to again getting a phone call. I'll call it back. Um <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and click export. And then you can save it to the desktop documents. This is going straight to my desktop. Um and as you can see it says save as type compressed folder. That is what you want. It has my origin ID and the household name but we're gonna change 
the name to Danny Rio. And I'm going to hit save. And now, <clears throat> now we have a zip file here popped up that says Danny Rio. So your sim has been saved. So, how to check and make sure if your sim has been saved along with the CC? Well, all you gotta do is open the file. I'm gonna right click and click open. Okay, and you can view it, you can extract it in this case with V1, but I just wanna view it in the archiver. I don't wanna extract it or anything. <clears throat> so, here's your um, household files. And then you have the mods. These are all the clothes that she's wearing. These are all the hairs that she has, her makeup, miscellaneous items that's like accessories and shoes. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much how you know she's all there <laughs> in the file. <clears throat> so I'm gonna do one more without the CC I'm gonna just click export this time so instead of the little pop-up with the CC you go straight into saving it and we're gonna save this onto desktop also but I'm going to put Rio <clears throat> instead of Danny <coughs> excuse me so now you have another zip file with just your sims files, not the CC. This is just the um, sims files themselves. See, there's no mods folder. <laughs> but anyway, that is it, guys. I hope you helped this. <laughs> help this. I hope you found this little quick tutorial useful. I will have a link to the archiver as well as the trait importer if you do not have it in the description down below and if you would like for me to do any more tutorials related to the sims um please let me know give me suggestions feel free to like this video leave a comment at the bottom down below subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all next time have a great weekend bye guys